Good morning. Once again, it is a great pleasure to stand here with our county partners to bring new solutions to a very old problem, gridlock on Forest Drive. We've entered into a memorandum of understanding with the county on how we're gonna minimize gridlock during an accident, how we're gonna monitor travel going down the road, and how we're gonna better control development in the future. This is not just the one-two punch, this is a full court press for new methods on how we're gonna address traffic and congestion along the corridor. Let me start with new procedures. How about ensuring a comprehensive accident investigation in about a third of the time? Traveling investigation takes, we're gonna open up our roadways and minimize gridlock. Drone technology for the first time is gonna be used in fixing accidents after an investigation. And to give you the details, I'd like to bring up Police Chief Scott Baker. Good morning. We will be using technology to assist us in providing better communication about road issues and to decrease the amount of time it takes us to investigate serious accidents. We will be training our members on the best practices to efficiently handle traffic accidents. We have a new smart board that allows us to train our personnel to keep traffic moving during an event. This can include equipment, position, and or detail, detours. In addition, we are improving our communication with the public. We already use the Annapolis Police Department mobile app to send push notifications about traffic issues in Annapolis. By providing these notifications, a commuter can make informed decisions on the best way to proceed through the city. We also just purchased two new portable message boards, as you can see on one of the back of the SUVs. These boards are easily deployed from a supervisor's vehicle and can be set up with any message. This will allow us to give drivers advanced notice and direction prior to them getting to the issue that is causing the delay. Finally, we are getting ready to train our crash investigators to use drones to investigate serious accidents. In the past, the, the road would remain closed for several hours while officers conducted their detailed investigation. This included marking evidence, then taking measurements and photographs. Shortly, we'll be able to deploy a drone to take pictures and obtain measurements, cutting the investigation time down significantly. All of this new technology will help clear the delays faster by being more efficient. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. <clears throat> As part of the MOU, there's also another step, and that's formalizing a land use policy group between the city and county. Currently, the city and county only meet on occasions to go over. This new policy, they're gonna meet on a month-to-month -month basis to go over projects on the Annapolis Neck and projects bordering it with the county. With this designated work group, county and city staff will work together to use real-time data to address projects in the Forest Drive, Eastport, and Annapolis Neck area. Meanwhile, we have already begun the Forest Drive sector study to, to study the land use solutions and to encourage the transformation and redevelopment of key sectors along the corridor. Ultimately, it will help guide the future of Forest Drive going forward. Please understand that this is the first of its kind agreement between a city and county. We will work together to determine traffic patterns, its impact, issues across city and county lines. This will allow for a more comprehensive approach to deal with development. Here to talk about what planning and zoning is doing is our director, Pete Gutwald. Good morning and thank you. And ultimately this effort will help guide the future of the Forest Drive area corridor in planning and transportation uh, solving actions. Through this study, uh, the study, the city will be able to obtain new data, update the information on local modes of transportation, economics, demographics, and other subjects such as public safety. Uh, the continued data sharing and cooperation between the city and the county will allow for a more comprehensive approach to, to uh, to traffic solutions and land use solutions and what's going on in the planning and development world. Uh, and while this planning uh, team has continued to talk and will continue to talk to the businesses and locals and organizations requesting their input and um, to hear from them, I want to make an announcement about our public meeting coming up next week uh, on September 27th from 6.30 to 8.30. We'll be holding an, uh, an open house to hear more of those comments, questions, concerns from everybody who's interested in the Forest Drive Corridor at the Pitt Moyer Center, located at 273 Hilltop Lane. And I uh, hope to see you there. Thank you. Thank you, Pete. And I encourage everyone to come out and participate in those studies. It's great to get input from the public about what's going on. 
As we've mentioned earlier and you've heard, Forest Drive has been an issue for a very long time. We have some new and innovative solutions going forward. And the only way we can do this is with a great partnership. So it's my great pleasure to bring up my friends and the county executive, Steve Shue. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good morning, everybody. It's another beautiful day in Anne Arundel County and appreciate your being here to uh, roll out yet another important dimension of our working relationship with the city of Annapolis. The relationship between the county and the city has never been stronger than it is today, thanks to the great mayor of the city. As uh, the mayor said, we are committed to finding new solutions to old problems, and the Forest Drive corridor has been a niggling problem for a very long time, in fact, decades. One very obvious thing about traffic is that it knows no borders. And for far too long, our two jurisdictions have acted separately in vacuums when it came to this roadway. Bottlenecks were the result of poor communications and territoriality between previous administrations. We've sought to change that mindset, first through data sharing and now through a cohesive strategic partnership that will include input and thinking from experts on both sides of the border between the two jurisdictions. To ensure we can more effectively move traffic down the corridor, the county is providing crucial data. Our transportation officials use a regional travel forecast model in conjunction with the Baltimore Regional Transportation Board, and thank you to them, that tracks travel demand across the county's arterial road system. The city, in conjunction with our team, will refine this model by creating a more detailed data subset to forecast accurately traffic in and around the Forest Drive and Eastport Corridor. Ultimately, the county can and will incorporate this refined model into our transportation master plan. In addition to providing data, the county will now provide additional tools to help monitor the traffic flow along Forest Drive. Currently, Forest Drive has limited camera and other traffic observation capabilities. We'll be adding additional cameras and repositioning the cameras that are already in place to enable continuous monitoring of traffic flows along the entire corridor. This information will feed into a traffic management program that will provide real-time traffic analysis and will result in much more accurate and timely planning and response by public safety professionals. Ultimately, these tools and data will provide the city and county a master traffic impact model covering the entire city and the Annapolis Neck Peninsula. This will facilitate more comprehensive and reliable traffic impact and land use analysis and most importantly this effort will serve as a pilot that county government can apply to the other peninsulas around the region that face similar challenges. So working together I do believe these strategies will help ensure a better future for our citizens from the city and the county who use this corridor every day traveling to and from work and places of recreation. Thank you again for being here.